Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. This is the sixth session in this Access series. And what we're going to look at in this session is how to create some extra queries, a cross-tab query and a totals query, which will give us some management, management information for our reports. So what have I done since the last session? Let's have a quick look. So I copied this query. I'll just run that one. That is a parameter query. If I just type an invoice number in there, that gives you the invoice details for that invoice. So I copied that and then renamed it customer booking analysis. And then all I really did was remove the parameter bit. So there's no parameter on there. And if I close that one down, now if I run that one, let's have a look what that does. That just shows you everything. And, and then I've created this query, customer sales, which is giving me a breakdown of how many courses each customer has done and what their sales was, what the revenue was. And the other one I've done there is this cross tab query. If I just open that one, which basically is showing you each customer and the actual course spend they've had. So you can see the course spend with a cross tab query. And then in terms of reports, we've got customer sales, which basically is that same information as a report with a total at the bottom there and a percentage column. So you can see that the top one there is 25% of all sales is coming from Smith and Co. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's start off with the first query that will generate this report. Let's get rid of that. So I'm going to create a new query, query design, and the one I'm going to use for this is the query that I copied. So this one, so I'm just going to drag that over there. So that's got all this information in. It's just a combination of two tables that we did in an earlier version. So all I want in this first one is um, company. I'll just drag company into there. And I want courses, course, and I want amount or total, total amount, not amount. So that's the information. So if I run that, let's have a quick look. That's everything, but I don't want it to sit like that. I want it to be summarized. So I'm clicking on the totals option, which gives you this group by group by. So I want to group by company. That's correct. And then I want to count courses, how many courses, and then I want to add up the money. So if I run that now, see that's come down quite a lot. This needs to be formatted to pounds. So if I just get myself onto the formatting tab, property sheet, format, currency, and run that again, that should be in pounds, it is in pounds. Back to design. Now you can change the titles at the top there because if you if you look at this, it's got count of courses, sum of total, which is not great. So if I just put my cursor in front of the sea of courses and type um, courses with an S colon, that'll rename that. And then if I click in front of total amount, I can put total amount colon that will then be the label total amount courses now if I save this query as test because I've already got one I don't want to confuse myself I can delete this one afterwards then I can create a report on this so close that one down close this down click on test create report design activate the property sheet find the source which is test and then look at the fields so I want company and then the courses and then the amount I'll tidy this up in a minute um, in fact I'll tidy it up now actually 
just bring that up a bit if I highlight those I can then go to arrange and stacked no tabular yeah let's have a quick look at that one okay and then now I need to do in the report footer I want a total so go to report footer and now I need to use this a B button to draw myself a, a box which I can format later on it's going to be equals sum open bracket of total amount square bracket close typo L total amount see if that's worked yep just needs formatting to currency so we'll go back into that back into properties format currency at the top and then you can just reposition that uh, give it a label total amount now I want to name this box I want to give this a name come back up um, let's go to all hasn't got a name at the moment just gonna call this um, company total that'll do company total because now in the detail area I can do another one another box which is going to be equals square bracket total amount square bracket divided by square bracket company total square bracket total amount yeah let's try that yeah that just needs formatting to a percent go back into design Click on this box, format as a percent, 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 and just give this a label percentage. Highlight that, just arrange and tabular, see what that looks like, design view it's looking okay back into design i don't want these boxes so let's border style transparent this needs to come across a little bit and maybe i can make that bold and change the font slightly to a bigger size because it's company totals, just make the box a little bit bigger. And same with that. Make it 18 and bold, make it bigger. And then you just basically, I'm not going to spend too long doing this. You just then sorting this out um, to make it presentable. And same with the title at the top, you can give yourself a title. So it's going to be um company sales amount click away change the format of that make that size 18 and bold as well and then you just have a look at that report and that report then should pull off that information a bit of a gap bit of a gap there i need to sort that out just get rid of that gap don't like these big gaps everywhere so just pull these up a little bit we'll just bang that to there have a quick look there we go still got the box around there but that'll do for that one and i'm not going to save that but obviously you would and you'd fix this as well and that's that one now not going to save it 
Next is a cross tab query to repeat this one. Now, when you do a cross tab query, it's create query wizard and it's part of this cross tab query. Okay, so I want the query bookings analysis. Let's have that one next. So I want company, a list of companies next and let's go for course so it's going to be a number of courses and counts of course um let's have a quick look down here now let's go for total and sum so we'll have a list of courses total and sum and then next and finish and then you get each course and there's the amount. Now, if I go into design on this, you can see that this needs to be formatted to currency. And so does this one, I think. No, that one, currency. So you can create these cross tab queries yourself if you have a look at them in design like this um, but it's quicker to do it through the wizard I think so now everything is in pounds so we could do another cross tab query where we're looking at a list of courses and company quantities so that's the whole point of a cross tab query you can have it either way lots of different ones and then if I just close that you set out I am going to save the changes I made. You don't normally have to save a cross tab query, it just saves automatically. But I'll save the changes because I formatted it to pounds. And there it is. And just close that one off. So that's the end of this little phase, and I'll see you on the next one where we'll look at doing some more queries and some more reports to build up this. CRM database, but thank you for your time and I'll see you soon.